Nothing like a sentimental moment spoiled by acid reflux. Mary. Hello, good morning. Welcome back everyone to another episode of More Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and it's freaking awesome to see you all back on the Miss Mary Lou channel, my tea time fam. Oh, shoot. Hey, look at me getting holiday themed content out there. Doesn't always happen. Actually, if you listen to the Positivity podcast, which is on all the podcast places and on this channel every Thursday, you've heard a little bit about my journey. But anywho, you saw the title of this video. I have certain Valentine's Day traditions that I do with my fiance. And um, I guess they're non-traditional traditions. Anyway, before we get into some cozy story time for today, if you are not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing out. Oh, I almost lost my hat. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. I hope you got your cozy on. I hope you got some tea to drink because uh, let's talk about fun things. And no, this is not that kind of video. You know this channel. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right, so our first tradition that I guess is the lack of tradition. We don't do gifts. Nope, no running to the jewelry store or to get some chocolates, no flowers or anything. I don't know, we just don't buy each other things on Valentine's Day. Like sometimes a homemade card, but otherwise what we do do is we plan on spending the entire day together. Try to plan it ahead of time. We'll both be off again this year for Valentine's Day. And it's just like a day to spend time together all day. Now I realize not everybody has that option. I have a very flexible job as does my fiance. It's weird saying that, I'm not used to it yet. Can you tell? So what do we do during this giftless day together? Our food tradition that we look forward to every freaking year. We make pizza from scratch. Whoa. We make the dough. We make the sauce. We make it in a cast iron. Have you ever had cast iron pizza? It's so good. Pizza, homemade, cast iron. It's one of those days where we know we have enough time. So we make mother fluffin' pizza. Yeah. And then what do we do? I mean, yeah, we eat it, but generally we will eat it and watch a movie. Now, usually this is something on the lighter side, but we have been known to watch some surprising things on Valentine's. Day. Past favorites include Enchanted, Love Actually, Shaun of the Dead. I mean, you know, we're a quirky couple. <laughs> and then lastly, for the rest of the day, depending on like when pizza and movie happened, just change into our PJs and play board games because it's a thing we love to do. Also, there is usually lots of tea and coffee. So it's great. I actually remember the first Valentine's Day Jacob and I had together seven years ago. But our very first Valentine's Day, we were in college. I don't know what prompted us to do this, but we made pizza. Like pizza on Valentine's Day has been a consistent thing all the way through. I had a decent sized kitchen. I cooked up a storm in it all the time. I was one of those people, I didn't have house parties in college. I had dinner parties and tea parties. I mean, not a lot has changed really. <laughs> but I mean, at the time we weren't vegan. So I think the pizza that we made was a shrimp and banana pepper pizza. Cause the acid with shrimp works really well. Banana peppers in general on pizza, A plus idea. We had gotten some how this really beautiful bottle of like port wine, which is like a sweeter wine, if you don't know, in a smaller bottle, but it's pretty alcoholic. And over the course of the evening, we just drank it and it was really lovely. I remember sitting at the kitchen table in my apartment, just like kind of in awe because 
previous life experiences, Valentine's Day had been built up to be this thing. It was just so awesome and a good fit for me to be with someone who was like, yeah, I just wanna spend Valentine's Day with you. <laughs> Nothing like a sentimental moment spoiled by acid reflux. So friends, I hope that you enjoyed this like sweet, sentimental, cozy little video about things that I like to do on Valentine's Day with my fiance, Jacob. Seven years strong and we're engaged. So I guess it works for us. What are some things that you do on Valentine's Day? And don't worry if you don't have like a person or whatever, I have a treat for you coming on Tuesday. So fear not. Uh, that's it for me today, friends. I love you all so much. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Tuesday. Or Mary. Hello! Thank you so much for watching this episode of More Mary. I just love sitting here and getting to know you all. It's just really delightful and it makes my day. If you want to hang out more on other parts of the internet, all my social media links are in the description thinger down below. You're awesome. And I can't freaking wait to see you on Tuesday. <coughs> mm.